Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we do begin today's video, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We're 700 away. It's a big goal, but I know we can do this. So make sure you smash that subscribe button. Making sure you drop in an early like as well. But anyway guys, on today's video, I'm going to be talking about primarily sniping. Recently on Twitter, I've noticed a lot of people who I'm following and a lot of, you know, big organizations. Phase, for instance, is probably the biggest one. They're running the Phase 5 challenge. I've seen Obey are doing doing one and I've seen I think so might be doing one and there's somebody else but I can't think off the top of my head but yeah all I've seen on my Twitter feed is people grinding for these challenges my friend Moz check out his channel I'll leave him in the description I'll always leave it in the description if you ever hear his name mentioned in the video he's smashing it right now and he's probably grinding the hardest I've ever seen like someone grinding for this well like since this challenge has been launched and I did think of grinding for myself grinding for it for myself but personally I don't think I'm Good enough to be honest I know it's not the mindset you need to have you need to be grinding to get better which I'm trying to do I might even I might try and grind for it but I thought for this video I'd just throw in a sniper anyway and just see how it goes so that's what I'm gonna be doing in today's video I'm still unsure when the start of season 4 was meant to come out and I would also like to well I'm not even gonna apologize but I didn't upload yesterday due to the blackout Tuesday all the things that's going off in the world right now and I hope people are staying safe because of this and you know supporting any way you can I've donated I've signed petitions so I hope you guys do the same it's pretty crazy what's going off right now and I think people need this support as much as they can right now so make sure you're helping out and doing your bit guys so yeah that's why I didn't upload but like I said I don't know when season 4 is going to drop I've got a lot of core points loaded up ready for it I thought it might be today because obviously it was meant to be yesterday but obviously got postponed because of blackout Tuesday and I thought oh maybe they're just going to do it the next day but apparently not so I have no idea when it's actually going to drop but anyway that's enough of that guys we're going to hop straight into a game right now we're going to be using the car 98 hopefully we can have a pretty decent game I've not sniped in forever so hopefully we'll see how it goes I'll see you guys in the gameplay okay guys we are playing a little kill confirmed on shoot house I'm using the car 98 trying a little bit of sniping I've not sniped since going for Damascus and I've not properly sniped in Call of Duty as a whole since Black Ops 2 I used to snipe all the time in that game I'm a little bit rusty on this game as you can see so I'm just gonna do this a pretty raw commentary I don't think I'm gonna make too many cuts and just you know sort of see what I'm like sniping if you guys see for yourself I don't know if I'm gonna carry on sniping after this video I just know a lot of people have been grinding for it and because people have been grinding for it, I thought I might hop on the trend and try out a sniper. So if you are grinding for it, I wish you all the best. Keep grinding, I'm sure you'll achieve your goal eventually. At some point, never give up. Obviously, that's the mindset you need to have. And oh my day, I couldn't even shoot that and it's still cocking it back, I think. Which is annoying. But yeah, I think I might leave this raw so you can see me dying a bunch of times which is I know not brilliant but just so you can sort of see progress I make if I do carry on trying to snipe this is literally my second game because the first game I thought I'd try shipment which was a decent idea you know I sort of you know helped me get to grips with just handling the weapon and getting my aim on lock a little bit but I'm still a little bit rusty I thought I used an AX50 but I thought maybe not and there's a guy behind this car still hope my C4 kills two people we'll take that and the guy in that head glitch he's gonna die Oh my days, please don't kill me my friend, thank you, we've got a little quad feed going off, not bad even though only two kills was with the sniper, I would like to keep trying to get some clips though, I do love watching sniper clips, but I mean I'm just that, just not that great with the sniper compared to red gunning, that kid's going to get taken off the head glitch, but I love, oh my days, oh my god, a little triple kill, we'll take it, oh I'm missing the fourth guy. I'm choking so hard. Like, when I get a couple of kills together, I start to pure panic, and I'm just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But yeah, like I said, not really sniped. But maybe I will, I don't know. Let me know if you enjoy the sniping content. You know, if you want to see me snipe a little bit more, let me know. I'm not awful, I'm not god awful with a sniper. I'm just definitely not the best, and I get a hit marker there, which is a shame. And I'm not even sure what's the best sniper to really use. I see a lot of people using the car. I love the Mark II carbine, but I didn't want to use it. I just didn't want to, I don't know. For some reason, I just didn't want to clarify it as a sniper. Like, I don't know why I thought that, but that's just my thought process going into this video. I thought, I'd, oh my days, kid laid on the floor. Nice little double kill, though. I managed to snap on that last guy there, just. I think the car is probably the best, oh my god, for sniping. I think it feels really nice. Just the fact of getting a kill with Sniper, oh my god, is just so, oh my days, is so satisfying to me. And that, yeah, the reloading is so annoying in the car, I think, with, especially when you've got a Sniper Scope. When you've not got a Sniper Scope, it's not too bad, to be fair. Oh my days. But I mean, it would be super cool. Is this key guy going to push me? No. It would be super cool to, you know, try and get into an organization with sniping. I think the sniping community has always been humongous as a die there again. 
humongous uh, in the Call of Duty industry. And I think it's sort of died out a lot. I think that's probably died out when FaZe wasn't primarily sniping anymore, personally. I think they have a big influence on it all, as obviously they are the biggest gaming organisation there is out there. You know, that is the dream. The ultimate dream is to join FaZe. I think that's for most content creators and, you know, YouTubers or gamers or well, Call of Duty players, maybe Fortnite players as well. Is to join FaZe or some kind of other organisation. There's so many good ones out there. I think Saw would be a good one to join. I've seen my friend Moz, like I said, link in the description for him. He seems to be grinding for Obey, I think. I've seen him tweet at Obey and that's how I realised they was doing a recruitment challenge. But, like I said, this is not a recruitment challenge video. I'm not trying to grind for anything like that as of right now it's just a little test i just thought i'd jump on the bandwagon because everybody seems to be sniping right now so i thought hey why don't i just do a video on sniping see how it goes and who knows i might keep at it if you guys oh my god that could got just destroyed Gee, oh this guy's in the corner I'm not gonna be able to hit this guy so he's gonna get c4 to the face unfortunately and that guy's gonna run past me hit marker miss where's he gone where's he gone we're gonna kill him a little hard scope but i don't mind hard scope i don't want people like oh my god you're hard scoping like, what in that voice? Yeah, I'm not one of them people, you know, if you're hard scope, you're hard scope, you know. I think it's still easier to kill someone with a red gun than it is to kill somebody hard scoping, personally. That's just me, though. That kid's gonna die. Oh my days, I'm gonna get shotgunned. If you do enjoy this sniping content, though, smash a like. And I might even continue doing it a little bit. This kid's gonna get shot in the back. Is there anybody else? No, there is not. That kid's gonna die. Oh my god, I'm missing. That's what I mean. I always start a nice little streak going, like quick kills, and then I run into a bunch of enemies like that and they just kill me. So it's super hard for me to get clips, but I would love to get clips to be fair. I don't even get red gun clips to be fair, you know. Oh my god, there's one, there's two. Anybody else? I'm missing. Panicking. As soon as I start stringing a couple of kills to get like two kills, I'm starting to pure panic. There's one, there's two. Third guy, there's three. That's a nice little triple kill. We'll take that. Oh my days. Pretty hard for that little triple kill. I think I don't think I'm that bad. Maybe I will carry on sniping. I don't even know. It's one of them things, you know. I mean, when the new game comes out, I don't know if I'll be into sniping or anything. Because I like when the new games come out, new Call of Duty games. The first thing I want to do is red gun it and get used to the game, you know. I don't think I'd feel too confident going in with a sniper. Obviously, I'm one of them people who gets too caught up in the stats as well. That my KD is obviously not going to be great with a sniper, you know. I'm one of them people, but maybe I just need to put that behind me and just maybe try something different, you know, with a channel as well. It might push the channel to the next level. I don't know. I don't know what could happen by trying something new like sniping and, you know, getting half decent at it. But it is a hard thing to master. I mean, I've always watched Pomage. In my opinion, I think he's the best. And back in the day, Grizz or Zia Grizz, or however you pronounce it, Z Grizz, I have no idea. Literally the best sniper I've ever seen. Pomage is second best, or if not the best, out of the two. They're both two iconic snipers. Obviously, I don't think Grizz does content or anything anymore. I don't think, anyway. You know, I've not watched him since like Modern Warfare 2 or something crazy like that. But I've always watched Pomage, I still watch him to this day. He posts some insane sniping clips and they're so fun to watch and it's just like mesmerizing to watch almost. You're just watching and you're like, what on earth? How the hell do you do that? Like, he's playing Warzone and hitting headshots from 400 meters, not missing a bullet, a squad wipe or something crazy like that. And it's like, what on earth? You're just not normal, you know? And it would be cool to be able to do that. I think I think sniping clips to watch are way more better than red gun clips, you know. I think red gun clips, you know, they can come and go as easy as anything. Where sniping clips, you've got to be accurate as anything. And it's just crazy, I think. It's super difficult to do. So yeah, maybe I would like to try it a little bit more. Like I say, let me know in the comments if you want to see more sniping or what, if, what snipe you would prefer me to use. Uh, you know, it's not like a grinding. I'm not grinding for a clan, like I say, as well. It's just literally me just trying to enjoy myself and just bring something new just because everybody else is doing it right now and it might stick we don't know i'll still obviously do best class setup videos if it is a thing that sticks i'll still red gun all the time obviously because you know that's where i am it's what i i mean i wouldn't i don't know if i do prefer red gun i don't know and this is what i mean i'm so inconsistent like i couldn't hit that guy at first and i hit marked him it's just this sniper is just i don't know i don't know if it's a sniper that's inconsistent and there's a guy in that corner i saw him at last second and i was like blind for a minute but yeah, this sniper is just a little bit inconsistent. I don't know if it's uh, just me or I'm not aiming high enough. You know, I don't. I don't know. It's going to be one of them things because this is my second game properly sniping. You know, like when I was going for Damascus on the car, uh, it was one of them like just sitting there hard scoping. Like I weren't really bothered. I was just trying to keep the KD up. Like I say, I'm caught up in stats most of the time. And I have been for a very long time. 
And I don't think that's the way to go, worrying about stats all the time. Because no one can see them, as you know. I think when I first started getting caught up in stats with Black Ops 2, when you could view other players in your lobby's combat record, and I would love that feature to return, because it sort of gives you a rough idea of how good the people you're playing against is going to be. And that's, this uh, VTOL is going to kill me, isn't it? Yeah. But I would love that to return, but I think that's why I got caught up, because I didn't want people viewing my profile and seeing some stupid crap KD, you know? And that's just how I've been ever since, worried about the KD. And as you can see, the KD does go downhill. I think I've got like a 2 KD right now, so not too bad, I think. Um, which is, you know, decent. I, I'm happy with a 2 KD, you know. But at first, when I'm sniping, I'm going like negative all the time. This is actually a decent game, to be fair. To say I've not sniped in a very, very long time. But yeah, maybe I need to forget stats and just enjoy it a little bit more and try and go for something new. What's this kid doing in the corner? Okay. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the game. Three seconds. Can I get a kill before it ends? I don't know. Can I? Yeah, we'll take that guy there, but I don't think it's going to count on the scoreboard. I don't know if we kill that second guy either. 48 kills. Not bad at all. We've got the play of the game as well. Not bad. This little two-piece. And I think there's someone else. No, it looks like it's going to be the double kill. I'm pretty sure I did get a better, you know, couple of kills. We've got 48 kills, 31 deaths, so just a little bit under a 2KD, I do think. Yeah, it will be. Like a 1.5. But yeah, I'll take that. Okay, guys, we're back in the lobby. I do enjoy sniping very much. Let me know if it's something you'd like to see more in the future. I think I'm going to carry on sniping for the rest of the day. See how it goes. I don't know. I have no idea. We'll see if I enjoy it. And if I do, I'll carry it on. If you guys want to see it, I'll carry it on. Let me know the best car setups or any sniper because I'm really, really not to grips with sniping. I'll be honest. So I didn't do too bad, I don't think. But yeah, let me know if you want to see this continue. But apart from that, guys, thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you guys are new around here, make sure you are smashing that subscribe button. Like I said at the beginning of the video, we are on the road to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know we can do this just with everybody's support. It's been amazing recently. Smash that subscribe button, guys. Make sure you drop a like if you did enjoy this video. And if you are already subscribed, make sure you do have bell notifications turned on so you don't miss out on a single video I do upload and make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter links for them are in the description below to stay up to date with anything else that's going off in my life but yeah apart from that guys thank you guys ever so much for watching I hope to catch you guys in the next one